Hello hello, I'm Nico Bellic, and you're watching UMC News. Today we have to announce our Sony introduces the PS5 Pro. Sony today announced the PlayStation 5 Pro, a mid-generation hardware upgrade that will play the same game library as 2020's PlayStation 5, but with higher frame rates and better resolution than on the original system. The new units will be available on November 7th for $700, Sony said. The updated hardware will come complete with 2 terabytes of solid-state storage, up from 1 terabyte on the original PS5, but without an Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive, which users can purchase as an add-on accessory for $80. In a video presentation Tuesday, Sony's Mark Cerny said PS5 developers desire more graphics performance in order to deliver the visuals they want at a frame rate of 60 frames per second. The lack of enough graphical power on the PS5 leads to a difficult decision for players between the higher resolution of fidelity mode and the smoother frame rates of performance mode, with three quarters of players choosing the latter, according to Sony. The goal of the PS5 Pro, Sony says, is delivering the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates players typically prefer. To do this, the new system will sport a larger GPU that can support up to 45% faster rendering, Cerny said, with 67% more compute units and 28% faster video RAM than the PS5. This will allow for almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rates of 60 frames per second in many existing PS5 games, Cerny said. The PS5 Pro will also bring what Cerny says is a streamlined and accelerated approach to ray tracing, with individual rays calculated at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. In examples shown on video, Cerny highlighted how reflections between cars are now available at 60 frames per second for Gran Turismo 7 on the PS5 Pro, and how games like Hogwarts Legacy could have more realistic shadow effects. An AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, PSSR, will be available on the PS5 Pro to automatically upscale in-game scenes as well. Cerny highlighted how this can make distant crowds in a game like Ratchet and Clank rift apart to look much clearer. Titles that can take advantage of the PS5 Pro's more powerful GPU will be marketed as PS5 Pro Enhanced. Titles that will sport that designation include Alan Wake 2. Assassin's Creed Shadows Demon Souls Dragon's Dogma 2 Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth Gran Turismo 7 Hogwarts Legacy Horizon Forbidden West Marvel Spider-Man 2 Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart The Crew Motorfest The First Descendant The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered other titles will be able to take advantage of PS5 Pro Game Boost, which Sony says may stabilize or improve the performance of supported PS4 and PS5 games. And that's it for the latest news. We hope you enjoyed our UMC news. I'm Nico Bellic, and I will see you next time.